G instructor. Welcome to join the class learning the Young Star Tai Chi Chuan 24 form. We have already learned the nine movements. Last class we learned the ninth form is called the single beat. Today we are gonna continue to learn the next movement. The tenth form is called a wave hand like cloud or just call it cloud hand okay let's start to learn there is a transition form before the cloud hands we need to learn it first learning the form there are three steps after the single wave last form is a single wave Your body weight 70% on your left leg, 30% on your right leg. The footwork, a shift back, your body turning 45, bending your right knee, a shift back. Don't let, don't let do that shift. You need to turn your body. One, okay. One, next, after two, check your right leg. Knee, don't move, it. just bending your right hip joint. See, this leg doesn't move. 70, 30. Other three, just circle, turn body. Make your weight 50% on your each leg. Say it again. 70% on your left leg, 30% on your right leg. And then one shift. Now almost 50-50. So you over each leg. Next are two. 70, 30. Next are three, shift. 50-50. Okay, one more time. So one. Two, three, fifty-fifty. Okay, your hands still follow the three steps. And then the one body turn forty-five. One. Make a left palm. One palm down. The eagle speak become the palm. One, one, both palms the finish together. One, don't let do that. One, one, you need together, together. One, next, see, circle, 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 two, to the right side. So this, this palm is a 45 face down. This palm, 45 face up. Then three circle. One more time. One, two, three. Okay, let's put our hands and footwork together. Shift the back. Turn body, one, two, then three. This is the arm, 45, 45 down, 45 up. Round your arm, the palm, cover your face. Like this. You protect your head. This protect your lower body. Eyes look forward. Don't look. Look at your arm. Forward. One more time. One. Two. Three. Okay. Let's do the. the same 
direction. So everyone follow me, practice together. Okay. So one, two, three, Okay, now we can start to learning the cloudy hands. Now your weight, 50 on your each leg. We first learn the footwork. As a one, just a turning body, 45. One, turning 45. Then sh move your weight almost 100% on your left leg. One. One. Even your ten body, still think about there are two cups of water on your shoulders. One, cups, one cup of water on your head. Don't do that. Is that the one? The body 45 turning, your head to 90 degrees. One. So, I said one, you turning at the same time on your right foot. You think about first the heel, arch, ball, toe. Just bend your left hip joint. Don't, don't do that. When you shift the weight, almost 100% on your left leg, trick your left leg. Just bend your left hip joint. Don't move your left knee and shin any. Just one. Then, Two, close your feet, your big toe touch the ground. Then three, 50, 50. Wait, go, go each leg. So, when you close the feet, you leave some distance between your feet, 10 to 20 centimeters. body you need to let a heel first leave from the ground heel arch ball heel arch ball then you have five toes right you go one two three four five when you check your body hundred percent of weight on your left leg then two Close the feet, touch the big toe, touch the ground. Then you follow the toes, then ball, arch, heel, touch the ground. Then 50, 50. Then the next three steps is stem, bend your right hip joint, turning body 45. Shift weight, 100% weight on your right leg. Next. As a two, step out. Don't move your right leg. Just step out. Big toe touch ground. Then toes, ball, arch, heel, 50-50. The width, arms and the shoulders. One, two, three.
the 24 form, the cloudy hands do three times. Left, this is one, three steps. Two, that's three steps. Three, three times. Okay, next, let's learn the hands. The hands still follow three steps. The form, the name called the cloudy hands, which means wave your hands like the clouds. Like the clouds cover the sun's rays. When your opponents punch you, this is a block. Protect your head, head, protect the body. When you move your feet, you, you, are, you are like the walking on the air. Also like the clouds float in the sky. So your hands follow three steps. So one, just the one. Check it. First, other hand with the arm. For this surface, it's 45. We are turning, it's still 45. Just at the same time, turning your palm, 45, just done. The two, just like the palm down. Then three, almost cover your navel. Forty-five. For this, this arm, as a one. Forty-five, just up. Two, palm up. Three, round it. Together, one, two, three, same to this direction. One. Two, three, one, two, and a three, one, see, the 45 down, 45 up, that's two, move your arms with the coordination, don't, don't do that, already, already face down, into the two, Yeah. 
your head. We we'll move your head like the oscillating fan, just the turn 90 degree. I said, why your body turn 45? Your head turn 90 degree. Just look forward, look left, left. Just see, one, two. Let's look forward, back, three. One, two, three. One, turn 90 degree. Two, look forward. Then three, look this direction. Then one, look right. Then two, then three. Okay, so everyone, follow me. Press together. Let's do same direction. Check your body, natural upright, from the lean. You need a really Also, make, make sure your both shoulder at the same level. Turning, turning. So let's clap the hands. Uh, it's very uh, difficult to master it. So you need a practice. And as much as you can till you really must it. Remember and understand how the movements, how to do it. And uh, remember the whole details is not enough. You really need to body do it. Like the eat food, not just the test it and eat it. You need to really digest it. Let your body accept it. Okay, that's all for today. Next class, we are gonna continue learning the next movements. Uh, single whip and uh, a high pack on horse. If you are the first time joining the class and I, you would like to learn and review previous movements, what I taught. You can go to my website to watch the videos that can help you practice and catch up this class. Thank you very much for joining the class. See you next time.